In this video, I talk about the best DJ softwares. How's it going everybody? It's DJ Hems here. Welcome back to the channel. If you are new, thank you so much for stopping by. Guys, don't forget to hit that bell icon. I promise if you hit that bell icon, I will notify you each and every time I release a new video. In this video, we are talking about the best DJ software. I'm not gonna say, you know, this is the best one, get this one. This. I'm gonna talk about the four leading best DJ softwares that are out there in the, in, in the industry right now. And guys, stay to the end because I am gonna say something about virtual DJ. So for you guys that have virtual DJ, Stay to the end. Stay to the end. I do have a statement about that. Up first, we have Ableton. So Ableton was first initially created for those producers to produce at home or at their studio, and that was pretty much it. But with uh, with Ableton's unique interface, users users have gone ahead and taken Ableton to the next level. Which now, you know, with the session view, you can seamlessly, you know, mix tracks, do live remixing, or any other live production in front of a live audience, which is pretty damn cool. So if you're a producer that already has Ableton and people are, you know, are you getting hired to do gigs and you don't want to invest into like another DJ software and you already know how Ableton works and you, know, you have the, the clip launching, the tempo lock, the session view. For you that have Ableton, you know what I'm talking about. E even for me, guys, if I wanted to DJ through Ableton, I, you know, I did my research for this video, but I will have to do my research a lot, lot more for me to DJ through Ableton. So yeah, guys, Ableton is some advanced DJing shit. Like I said earlier, if you're a producer that already has Ableton and you're starting to get higher for gigs, you know, and you don't want to invest into a new DJ program, you can definitely use Ableton to perform in front of a live audience. And guys, Ableton does start at $99. All right, up next, we have Serato. For those of you that love turntablism, love the DJ turntable action, all the turntable tricks, but you're done carrying records, you're done digging through crates, Serato is gonna be the right program for you. So Serato has installed modern technology into, into these special vinyls called time codes. The time codes lets you seamlessly mix any song in your laptop without having to flip a record, you know, flip a new, go, digging through your crates to find the next record. You can use the exact same record to manipulate any song from your laptop which is pretty damn cool. And now guys, with the new phase technology, the new phase technologies, you can even leave your needles at home or what I, or what I would do if I had the phase is use my needles as a backup. And uh, Serato guys, is, it's free to download, but l let me look at my notes here because there's a lot of information. Serato is 129, it's free to download, but if you wanna unleash, unleash, un release, unleash Serato's full potential, it is 129, uh, 129. It's not 129.99, it was just 129 on their website. And um, a good thing about Serato, guys, if you can't fork up the 129 at once, they do have a payment plan option, which when I started DJing, there was no payment plan option, which that's pretty cool. And then um, Serato is plug and play friendly, guys. Unlike Ableton, where you gotta go through the settings, you have to know Ableton in order to use that program as a DJ program. Serato is pretty plug and play friendly. You download the program, you uh, uh, install your USB, and off you go. All right, the next program on the list is Rekordbox. Rekordbox is very similar to Serato. You know, it's, it's more for those DJs who deliberately like to use ID3 tags and want their music organized to the T, you know, specifically organized. And overall, Rekordbox has a lot of settings, so if you like to dive deep into settings and rearrange everything to your liking, Rekordbox might be the right fit for you. The one thing about Rekordbox is that you cannot use Rekordbox with brands outside of Pioneer. With Serato, with Serato you can use uh, Denon, Newmark, Pioneer, Rain, but with Rekordbox you can only use Pioneer products. So that's probably the only con about that one. But Rekordbox is 129 just like Serato and they do offer monthly payments. So once again, if you guys can't pay the 129 at once, you can definitely pay Rekordbox uh, with the monthly subscription. All right, guys, um, last from the top four best DJ softwares is Tractor. I started with Tractor. I remember going to Guitar Center with my dad. He, you know, he bought me Tractor. I wanted Scratch Live, but at that time, I didn't have the, the necessary funds, so I set up a Tractor. But Tractor wasn't bad, you know. At the time, 
Today's February 22nd. Yesterday, Tractor released a new update, but at the time when I bought Tractor about like 10 years ago, the waveforms were separate. They used to go out. You know, Serato, if you're familiar with it, Serato has parallel waveforms or they have the vertical waveforms, which is very helpful when you're learning how to beat match. Guys, yesterday I was rehearsing my, or practicing my notes for this video, and I took a break. I went on my phone, I went on Instagram for a little bit, and I seen Tractor released a new update, which is pretty much what I just said right now, that Tractor has now introduced parallel lines. Let me, I'm, put up, I'm gonna put up a screenshot. There it is for you guys. They have now, they don't have the horror, the, the vertical ones, which though that's in my preference, in my opinion, I love the vertical waveforms in Serato, but I mean, the parallel waveforms is something new. It's something a lot of Tractor users have been asking for and Tractor's now delivering. So yeah, Tractor, Tractor seems like they're trying to persuade DJs to buy some of, some of their stuff in their, in their program and their software. So Tractor has now released parallel waveforms, which is a very good thing. Um, Tractor has many capabilities as well. I seen Tractor be more popular in the EDM scene or the live remixing scene. You can also use Tractor, you know, um, we can also use turntables with Tractor, like DJ Craze, and you can also have uh, different native instrument controllers attached to your CDJs or your techniques to enhance your, your performance, add more effects, and if you like to do, and if you like to do live remixing, Tractor is gonna be the one for you. And um, Tractor is $99, guys, so, and it's a little bit cheaper. If you, ever, if, you, if you already have, like, the intro or the free version, I think I think it's, like, $49 to upgrade. But for sure, Tractor 3.1, it's $100. So, look into Tractor, guys. It's a lot of new things coming your way from Tractor. Um, I might download it and start using it pretty soon. So, we'll see. I'll keep you guys updated. And um, that's pretty much it, guys. Those are the top best four DJ softwares in the market right now. Let me know which one you have. Let me know which one you like. Or let me know which one you're going to buy in the comments below. And now for the virtual DJ part. So this is my statement on virtual DJ. And I, I wrote this down too, guys. It's a little important. So I think virtual DJs is for beginners. You know, I, I started using virtual DJ when I first started DJing which was, it's a very great tool for beginners. For those wedding DJs that really don't want to get into DJing, but are just wedding DJs and you just want to play music back and forth, I guess for those type of DJs, it's good for, but uh, virtual DJs is not an elite software. Uh, it's a proper DJ software, but it's not an elite software. You know, it has so many bells and whistles that it kind of promotes laziness in DJs. Check out this screenshot right here, guys. Check out this screenshot that I took directly from the virtual DJ software. In the highlight, you can see the software's purpose is to simplify the art of mixing and to take a more pleasant and comfortable experience. To me, that says we want to make the job easy for the DJ, which you know that kind of rubs me the wrong way. I strongly believe in live performance. You know, actually DJing, like, you guys know what I'm talking about. So if you're starting or if you're a wedding DJ, that type of DJ that really don't want to get into the DJing world, which you shouldn't even be DJing at all. If you want to be a DJ, you should learn it all. But that's what I think virtual DJ for is. So that's my statement on virtual DJ. It's good for beginners, but eventually you need to upgrade. And that's pretty much it, guys. This has been the top, or this has been the best DJ softwares video. We found it valuable. If you liked it, share this with your DJ friends. Post a comment below. Give me a thumbs up. Subscribe and hit that bell icon. Also, don't forget to follow me on Instagram. Thank you guys so much for watching. My name is DJ Hims. I'll see you next time.